All right, before we hop into the video today, just a quick thank you to our sponsor, Sports TNB. Hey, if you play 2K, you know the grind is real. The badge grind can get tough, so if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and everything like that, um, visit SportsTNB.com. Make sure to let him know Hayden YT sent you, and he'll get you everything you need. He's legit. First link in the description down below. Go check it out. All right, what's going on YouTube? Hayden here today. We're back with a brand new video. Today, we got some Georgia football recruiting news I want to touch on and talk about here before we get into early signing day that which starts tomorrow on december 18th and goes all the way until december 20th since today georgia picked up a new commit they got major burns to safety out of baton, baton rouge louisiana i don't know why that's so hard to say for me so that's some big news coming out because georgia is going to need some safety help after this season most likely and so major burns is one key prospect that can maybe fill the shoes of someone like jr reed and recently we've also got some reassurement of our commits our previous commits, Tate Ratledge, the offensive tackle, pretty much recommitted on December 14th and pretty much said that he is definitely going to be coming to UGA. Same with Mikhail Sherman. He's definitely a dog all the way, but he reassured himself that he's going to be um, coming to Georgia still. Same with Kendall Milton. Kirby Smart went out with one last visit to him out in California. Just an interesting note about that is that Kendall Milton is actually the first Georgia commit from the state of California since 2006. That's a huge pickup for Kirby Smart this year. Uh, Marcus Rosamy, the wide receiver out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, reassured his commitment. Uh, it's looking like Broderick Jones is going to be staying put, the five-star offensive tackle. With uh, Sam Pittman leaving, it was looking like we might lose someone like a Ratledge or a Broderick Jones, but Matt Luke came in with the work right off the rip and was pretty much able to secure those guys. Oh, we did lose, uh, I believe, one offensive lineman commit, but he was quickly replaced by a three-star offensive tackle, Devin Willock, out of New Jersey. So that's good work right there from Matt Luke. Um, so yeah, that's the people who were pretty much reassured their commitments and new commitments um, of recent time. But I do want to touch on a couple of people who we might be looking at signing with Georgia tomorrow. Guys we're in line with and our name is around. So Georgia, as of right now, has 16 commitments commits and they have the six ranked class with only 15 commits which is outstanding as majority of the top five classes have about around 20 plus commitments so georgia could really skyrocket to the top three if they can pick up some of these big big names off the board tomorrow kelly ringo is the first one to cornerback out of scottsdale arizona he's actually crystal balled 92 percent to georgia that would be another good pickup for Georgia. He's the five-star, the number one ranked corner, according to 247. That would be another pickup out west for Kirby Smart. Kirby Smart's really starting to get some of these guys out west. That's going to be a big pickup if we can get him. Looking around, another guy out west that we're looking at would be the big tight end, Darnell Washington, the five-star tight end, Darnell Washington. He would be a huge pickup as people are just, he has that wow factor, according to a bunch of people, when you watch him live and in action. So if we can pick up the six, seven tight end, I would, that would be a huge pickup for the dogs some other guys with the georgia football name around them would be five-star defensive end jordan birch that would be another big pickup on a d line jordan birch is the number five player in the 2020 class most likely that he's going to be choosing between clemson and georgia so georgia right now actually has only two five-star commits between mikhail sherman and bro Derek jones three people that i said that would boot if they can get jordan birch kelly ringo and darnell washington that would boost them up to five five-star commits that'd probably put them right behind Clemson. I think Clemson has six five-star commits. Uh, we're also looking at four-star safety Eric Reed Jr. Um, as he actually recently had an official visit to Athens on December 13th. We're actually getting a lot of really late uh, visits. We got a bunch of bunch of these big names I've talked about have actually uh, been on a recent visit from this past weekend where Georgia had about five or six players, five or six big name players coming in and visiting. So probably gonna be a big boost for Georgia getting these last second visits getting the last word on a bunch of these players uh, george is also in line for four-star receiver arian smith he's one of those guys that could bring a lot of speed to this football team he's a six foot one receiver uh he's also a track star so that's something to note down as well uh, he's out of lakeland florida and he'll be choosing between alabama florida and georgia on wednesday and the 247 crystal ball actually gives him an 88 percent chance to land at georgia that's big news that would be the third wide receiver commit which would be huge for this class because georgia needs some receivers out there so that would be Ari if we can get arian smith it would be him 
uh, Marcus Rosamy and Justin Robinson, all four star receivers. Oh, and just a note, uh, Darnell Washington and Kelly Ringo will not be announcing on within the early signing period as they will be announcing sometime in January. So that's, that's kind of unfortunate, but I forgot to note that as the guys are going to be looking at tomorrow between early signing day will be Jordan Birch, uh, the safety Eric Reed and the receiver Arian Smith. So we could still definitely uh, get some big pickups tomorrow. Either way, if Georgia can get three of those guys, they'll definitely probably move into the top five. And the guys that I was talking about are pretty much guys who were pretty much all the way Georgia, looking like they're gonna definitely be Georgia guys. But you never know with early signing day, we might get a couple surprise commits, a little bit over a week since the SEC championship. Let's see what Kirby Smart and staff have been up to here recently. If they can get some surprise guys that we're not necessarily talking about that's all i have for today's video just want to give some recruiting news leading up to tomorrow's the beginning of early signing day if you enjoyed this video hit the like button it really helps out the channel gets me to a little bit of a newer audience um hit the red subscribe button hit the post notification bell to know when i post content on this channel comment down below what you think of these commits uh who do you think it's going to be signing with georgia tomorrow so yeah with that said, it's been Hayden. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.